Okay, so here's the hippie grill, as K1 calls it. This is an old plow disc with horseshoes welded on to the back. Filled the hole up where it attaches to the plow disc. On this side, you can still see it. On this side, although it is obvious right there that it was welded up, the surface is very smooth. I do have uh, coconut oil on it right now, so you can see my fingerprints in the coconut oil. But other than that, meh, it's pretty smooth. You can see the pitting. Maybe you can see pitting. I don't know on the camera. But this plow disc was used. It was in a field and got picked up. I uh, sanded and polished it all off, but you couldn't get the uh, the pits out. And then the horseshoes also were used. They were worn by a real horse. They're very smooth on the front edges from being worn by a horse. Put that out of the way. And then this is the propane burner. It's just a propane burner from Walmart from the Ozark Trails brand and then a one pound bottle goes on it. Um, it's riveted to this piece of steel which came from an old air tank and then I've got some washers that I welded to it to create an air gap around the top so that the heat can actually get out and it can flow the air it needs to. Um, these are DOM with a hole drilled and tapped in them to allow a piece of just regular old three-quarter inch galvanized conduit for the legs, put it in, tighten it up, and then rubber chair caps on the bottom of it. So really, really a simple setup. You can cook on it anywhere. Um, this uh, grill surface right here can use, be used for other pots, for coffee makers. Um, really, for just a simple little home-built setup, we love it. Actually, I love it. Nobody else seems to want to use it, but I've cooked quite a few meals on it. It works out really, really well, and uh, I'm kind of proud of it. Thanks.